Hi everyone, welcome back to Growth Force's Entrepreneur's Inner Circle. Today we have an exciting episode with David. Hi Milosi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to find a sales professional that can actually close deals. Really important, that last one. Yeah, so we've been hearing a lot from our viewers and they've been telling us how difficult it is to find an mm. to actually find good sales professionals. So mm. we thought this would be a great time uh, to help people really understand what qualities they should look for in a sales professional. Sure, yeah. To close deals, yeah, it's it's not given to everybody. Uh, first trait is definitely be able to be a good listener. Yeah, yeah. a lot of things are written about that, and, and people have spoken. But it's really important. Uh, best salespeople I've seen, they don't come with a presentation. They come with like a blank sheet of paper and a pen, and they are able to ask really good questions and be able to listen to to, yeah. to, to people. So. Um, that leads often to building up a good relationship with the buyer. That's going to the second point already. Yeah. Um, is that yeah somebody who doesn't really like you? Yeah, he won't buy from <laughs> you. Or I mean, maybe only if he really needs the product. But even then, and so um, when you build up a good relationship with a person, of course, you have to be uh, humble. You have to be yourself, not the typical sales guy i would say and uh, we all know these typical sales guys yeah i've kind of where they get harass you and keep calling you to see if you made a decision exactly and and and, and that's that's uh, often uh, when when you're a salesperson and you don't add to the conversation you don't add any value uh, or you don't build up that report or report um that's that's where it goes wrong mm -hmm. um you have to um, be able to to uh, understand the business value of your product. Yeah? Yeah. I see a lot of people, salespeople, calling back once they send you a proposal. They call you once, twice, and they ask you the question: uh, Have you made your decision? Yeah. When when will you take it? That's okay. well, the second or third time that buyer sees you ringing in there, he doesn't pick up the phone anymore, and that's what you want to try to avoid. So, you should be able to build upon that report with that that person, but also understand the business value. What's the return on investment? Why should should he really buy your product? So when you have that report as well with that guy, uh, exactly if he has an issue, uh, there's no budget anymore, or somebody's really blocking the deal, he might be open to you and you might be able to, to solve that for him. If yeah. you don't have that openness from that person, he won't buy from you. Okay. Um, if uh, I have to think about another trait, and it's maybe one that not a lot of people are talking about, is, is the ability to make decisions. Yeah. Um, you, you might maybe know what's the most valuable asset for a salesperson. Do you know what it is? No. Okay, it's time. Uh, because often in corporates and even in mid-size, you live sometimes from quarter to quarter. And um, uh, when you don't spend your time well and you don't make the right decisions, so I pursue this lead, uh, will I invest time in, in going face-to-face yeah. -face meetings? Uh, will I go other s see, see other people in that into that buyer's mm -hmm. organization? If you don't make the right decisions or you don't make the right decision to, to, to put in more uh, prospection effort, lead generation effort, yeah. or closing effort, well, then often you miss deadlines, miss quotas, and you're not yeah. really a good salesperson. So that's what maybe you want to remember. Hire people that are really good decision makers okay thank you so much david um for this it's been really interesting a great topic maybe if you could just wrap yeah, up sure uh so we can so kind I, of make sure we got all those points sure. in so be able to uh if you want to hire a good salesperson um look for people that are really good in in, in listening uh are able to um, explain their products in business value and not in technical features People that are also able to build connections with other people and thus be like uh, open, uh, also um, I would say even even humble and uh, and good listeners and, and last but not least uh, are able to make uh, good and uh, good decisions. Uh, the right timing is really important. There you guys have it. Um, thank you, David, for giving us that insight. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time. I think um, yes. David was mentioning that he'd be happy to offer a 15-minute free consultation to any of you that are looking for some sort of advice to really understand how to find great sales professionals. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be sharing that link with you shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manoj. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.